Shell is with me now, and we were just talking about this beautiful sunrise shot out of Barrington. Yeah, it's just a nice quiet morning there. The winds are calm, water's nice and calm, and skies are mostly clear. It's not the only beautiful sunrise that we're able to see this morning. Our live cameras are showing off just some really pretty skies. Kayla, so I want to show you the details here. Our new Bedford Harbor camera, similar conditions down from the East Bay and looking in Narragansett right now. Sun is up, skies are dry, beautiful morning in East Providence from our Kettle Point camera and we've got mild weather leading our three key things early days of the week ahead hanging on to the mild air, but it doesn't last the entire week. We get back to more seasonable highs by end of the week. Comes with some unsettled weather as we transition back to those cooler conditions. Several rounds of showers starting tomorrow and lasting through Friday with about an inch of rain expected by the time the week is over. A cooler finish to the week, as I mentioned. Right now, not too bad out there for a January morning. We're running in the low to mid 30s. Providence at 35. It's 31 in Smithfield and 30 degrees in Westerly. Feels like the 20s at times but winds stay light today, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and the skies are dry across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. As far as temperatures go today, we'll be right around 50 degrees, a mix of sun and a few clouds, really comfortable conditions, no rain expected, and we'll stay dry tonight. One dip difference you'll notice is that the clouds will be on the increase, especially after midnight with temperatures falling to around 34 degrees. So by 10 o'clock this morning, we're in the low to mid 40s. Patchy cloud cover will give way to mostly sunny conditions in in the afternoon, 3 p.m. temperatures running between 45 and 50, and we'll still be cool and dry 7 o'clock this evening, around 41 degrees under clear conditions. Later in the night, though, clouds will roll in, and that'll put the brakes on the cool down. Tomorrow morning, a couple of sprinkles or light showers for the morning commute. Nothing that should slow you down, though. This is 7 a.m., and we're well above freezing everywhere. Cloudy, but mainly dry. As we get into the afternoon hours is when we'll get that better chance for rainfall. In fact, fairly widespread showers expected in the afternoon noon on Tuesday. Another mild one. Temperatures will be near 50. No threat of any wintry weather tomorrow or on Wednesday. First batch of rainfall bringing about a quarter of an inch of rain. This is through the end of the day tomorrow. There's more ahead though. That storm system that was making headlines in the West Coast is moving eastward. So over the Rockies today and then headed to the plains. First up for us with the first round of rainfall coming with the warm front as that lifts into our area. It brings that rainfall for Tuesday. Then as the cold front approaches on Wednesday, in the afternoon and evening, another round of rain showers. By Thursday morning, potentially enough cold air sneaking in. We'll have to watch areas north and west of 95 for some brief mixing. Still thinking most of us just see some light rain showers on Thursday. We've got a better chance of seeing some light rain and snow showers on Friday. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see that colder air over New England, bringing mostly snow showers to northern New England and a little bit of that wintry mix across southeastern New England. It looks very light and minor at this point, but it's something that we'll keep an eye on. Here's the seven day forecast. So above average temperatures today through Wednesday, 50 degrees for your high tomorrow with those showers likely even warmer Wednesday at 58 degrees. Then we start that trend of cooler weather returning 45 Thursday, 40 for highs for Friday and the weekend.